Where's your dog? You put him in the yard? <laughs> hey there, Pally. My name's Nick. Welcome to my humble abode. Yes. Right in the ass crack of Gamora. Ah, Joanna is my mother. You might have heard of her. Quite a bit of talent around here, if you know what I'm saying. My father, apparently some sort of NCR ranger. And myself, well, just one of the local talent boys myself, I suppose I'd say. But, you're not gonna make a name for yourself just sitting around selling your ass for bottle caps. So old Nick has decided to step out on his own. Let's see what Mama left here. I got a couple of cocktails. Big fan of the cigarettes, big fan of the, the vodka there. She's got a few weapons. But old Nick prefers a bit of the uh, old slice and dice, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, not a whole lot here for me, you want me to be real honest? I suppose uh, a bit of pork and beans, a little squirrel stew could help me out on the road there. We got some stim packs. <laughs> Probably just collecting these because she thinks they're drugs of some kind, huh? Most of the women here in Gamora, mmm, pretty doped up. Not my mom. No, sir. Clean as they come, straight as an arrow. At least, uh, that's one thing she got right. Ah, uh, growing up in these two little rooms. Can't say that I'll miss it, that's for sure. I just want to get out there, make my name big, put my name in lights, as they say, you know? A lot of people talk about coming to New Vegas to strike it rich and make it big. Well, I was pretty much born Tops. into the life here. A real snooze fest. I hope they get some new shows soon. Yeah, indeed. And here it is. See the ladies prancing around? No, you don't, is the answer. Most of them are so doped out of their minds. Jet, Mentats, whatever we can get our hands on. You shove it down the girl's throat, free the first couple times, start charging a little bit after that. Can't say that it's uh, something that I, I, I condone. Uh, there's my mom there, giving a little dance for the people. Yeah, I wouldn't condone that sort of behavior, but I'm not the one in charge here. I can't really tell you too much about the people in charge, at least not until we get out into the open. The walls have uh, eyes and ears around here. I think it's so a uh, couple of creepy customers can have a bit of voyeurism if that's, if that's in their tastes. Ah, I probably uh, need a little bit of armor as well. I hear that the wasteland's a rough place out there. Never really been out there myself, but I suppose there's no better time than now, eh? Why not, as I say? Uh, a little bit of slot machines, if that's your bag. You got uh, blackjack tables, roulette. And then you got the, uh, the stripper shows, which I think most people come here for the stripper shows. As you can see, uh, we're sort of dead at the moment. It's early in the morning yet, so I suppose people can't be blamed. You know, you don't want to walk into the, the 10 a.m. stripper show. Oh, that's terrifying. A little bit of blackjack, anyone? Not today, not for me. They don't allow me to play, you see. The house is in my favor, as they would, as they would say. But, uh, my name is Nick. Last name, Omerta. Father's name? I have no idea. My mom, Joanna Omerta? Yeah, well, kind of nice. Oh, it seems I got some uh, weapons as I left. I suppose that's quite kind of them. Don't want me to die in the wasteland, do they? Ah, uh, I don't normally leave the uh, strip. I've stepped in the free side a few times. Not the nicest place. But hey, the strip is getting deader and deader. If you were looking to make your name here, it's not gonna happen. Not these days. New Vegas rolled in, sucked up all the money, and uh, that was about that. We've just seen less and less people lately, which is troubling. Got these Securitrons roaming around. They'll go ahead and blast you if you uh, ain't got the caps. 
to get into the strip, see? I also got a, a passport or something like that. I think it costs more, more money than just uh, having the caps. So, I just carry the caps, that's fine. Ah, uh, lovely place it is, too. Now, I haven't left Freeside. At least not since I was uh, a little kid. But as you can see, Freeside's pretty rough. I think that the wasteland's gonna be even rougher. At least uh, according to the uh, the stories that I heard. Ah, let's let's stop by in here. The Kings. I like the cut of the jib. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Ah, not so much. You got a problem, friend? I cut you open right now. Nah, you're all right. You're all right. I just want to step in here. Step in here for one second. See what's going on. Oh my, there used to be a lot more uh, chairs and whatnot in here. What, membership dues been been suffering for you guys, or what's happening? Look at these guys, all their hairstyles the same. Hey, fella. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Uh, I don't really know what you're talking about. Who, who's the king? I, I, I see the name the kings, but you guys have, like, a king, an actual king? You know, like, like the old ruler types? You take orders from that guy? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? I'd be careful who you're calling an asshole, friend. This, this knife ain't just for looks. Could I talk to the king? The king of the kings? Is that like Jesus or something? I think I read a book about him once. How's that? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? It's, uh, it's worth your nose. How about that? It's five caps, fucking petty. What, do I look like a beggar to you? Take a hike, Chief Skate. Yeah, hike I will. We'll find something to do. Don't worry about it. I think that they, they're just so important. Out here squatting in Freeside. Huh. Personal space meaning anything to you guy? Does he look like a beggar? Yes, he does. Can you afford to buy your way into the casino? No, you can't. Want someone dead? Not, not quite yet. Ah, uh, I suppose we're a bit out of, out of earshot now. So probably still be careful in Freeside. I'm sure there's some people who are listening out. But anyways, let me tell you a bit about the Omerta family, as we call it. Uh, we got Nero, he's the big man in charge. Hardly ever hear shit from him, Come to if you want me to be real honest. We got Big Sal, he's the, uh, the second in charge there. And then, you got, uh, well, a couple of people, really. But Kachino's the, uh, the third, I suppose, I would say. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Stuff you're not allowed to sell, you say? Well, where do I find this Mick and Ralph's, little man? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. I did hear that. Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. Could you point me in the right direction, or what's going on with that? You just gonna stare at me awkwardly? Alright then. Not much help. Not much help out here. But yeah. If any place needs help, it's this place. I'll tell you that right now. Ah, there's the spire. Always let me know where I was. Coming on back home. Things like that. Of course, I won't be going back home for quite a little while. I would tell my mom where I was going, but she don't give a shit. Honestly, how many kids has she squirted out over the years? I was the only one stupid enough to stick around. 20 years later, Nick's had enough. Out into the world I go. We'll make it or we'll break it. You know what I mean, friends? Hey, a couple more kings hanging out here. Hey, why don't you get a job, huh? <laughs> Selling my ass ain't really no job, but at least it's something, you know, pays the bills. At least enough that I've stacked a few caps. I can come and go freely from the strip. Lord knows Nero and my ma weren't paying for none of that. So I didn't get to leave for a little while. And now that I get to leave, I ain't coming back. You hear me? Look at these guys out on the corner. What you doing out here? 
Where's your dog? You put him in the yard? Huh? What's your name, fella? Don't bother me, please. Don't bother me. That's a weird name. Hey, I got jokes too. Check it out. Well, up this way, it looks like a, a long highway. I got traded this piece of junk on my wrist. Let's see what kind of information it might have. Well, we got the uh, the world map. Hmm. Doesn't seem like much at all. No, indeed. But that road leading out east looks kind of interesting to me. Can only wonder where it goes. This is the kind of place you can uh, find adventure. The wide open world. You know what I'm saying? You dig me, friends? Shouldn't, shouldn't start t saying dig too much. I picked that up from Troik. Yeah, Troik's uh, one of the weapon smugglers. For the Omatas. Secretly, he's also smuggling weapons for the tops and white gloves. A couple other casinos back there in New Vegas. But he don't, uh... He don't give that information away too easily. He'll keep a tight lid on it. You keep him shut with some jet. You know what I'm saying? So he's not a not a bad guy. Just a little squirrely. Just the slightest bit squirrely. Well. Looks like this road came to a quick end, does it not? I don't know, it just goes up over the mountains. Over them there mountains. Well, I might also like to find my dad, you know? That would be pretty, pretty neato. Finding uh, some NCR guy, compare my face. After 20 years, I'd hope he'd be retired, but not much room for retirement in this kind of land. You kind of work till you're dead. And that's just how it goes. And I could have worked my butt till I was dead, too. But I always thought that I was meant for bigger things. So we'll see what kind of big things we can accomplish out here. Could be nothing. I could end up dead in a ditch, but hey, I might end up dead in a ditch with the Omertas as well. They call themselves a family. They don't act too much like a family. Lots of backbiting. You know what I'm saying? People uh, gotta watch their their backs around around those folks. Anything for power. That's what it is. If they even knew that I was talking to you too much, uh, I could find a bullet in the back of the head pretty quick, huh? But that's all right. We are out of here now. Look at all this here. Seems some sort of radiated monsters. You think after the bombs fell so many years ago that some of this radiation would have faded away? People and things would grow and move on. But that's just not how it goes. People hold on to stuff like that real tight. Sort of like the human memory, you know? Once upon a time, there were uh, four tribes. Well, many more than four. But four is how many Mr. House picked to move into the strip. We got in the fight with the uh, clan called the Great Khans, if I remember correctly. This is all before I was born, mind you. And uh, the Great Khans ended up taking the hike, getting kicked out. So sad when that happens. Hmm. These creatures look slightly less irradiated, but they're still fucking huge. Hey, come here, you. How's that? Want some of this? Oh, my goodness. You got a friend, do you? Well, Nick ain't got no friends. Nick don't need no friends. You know what I'm saying? Friendship has never been a friend to me. Oh, boy. A couple more we got. All right, coming out quick with the blade. Now you see what Dr. Nick can do, huh? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, run from me. There you go. Are you coming back for more, stupid? Nobody's getting away. Not that easy. All right. Our first uh, meal, as I, as I guess I'll call it. A little bit of mole rat meat. 
Ah. I think that little guy nicked an artery or something. My leg's bleeding fierce. Ah. See if I can't get it patched up somewhere. I don't know if this is going to be the place to do it. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.